how to quickly grow sales using Facebook ads. So you set up your website and you have your Instagram and Facebook page promoting your products organically with your content and now you are thinking to run your first advertising campaign where you've been running some ads but you know deep down you can get better results. Well, I'm going to demonstrate 7 unbelievably powerful sales psychological triggers that will make your brand grow immediately. But before that, if you are new to my channel and if you are interested in learning more about Facebook ads, conversion rate optimization and social media marketing in general, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. Every other day I'm uploading a new video here on this channel helping you grow your sales using ads. Okay, now let's dive into our video. So, our first psychological trigger is so-called authority. You have to understand that now it's much harder to sell your products with your ads, let's say in comparing with how we were selling five years ago. That simply boils down to that so common marketing formula. When the demand is lower than the supply, always the cost to acquire one customer is much higher. And that is what happened with Facebook advertising. Now we have more advertisers and less demand. That's why these psychological triggers comes here in place and helps us to actually stand out from the crowd and promote your products profitably. Having authority on the marketplace makes your brand much easier to scale because it comes with many advantages, such as having price points that you believe your products are worth it and uh, getting more loyal customers as well. Now, I understand that you will ask me how to build authority in the marketplace. The best way to build authority and respect in the marketplace is by persuading your potential customers. And there is a book, it's called Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. I highly and highly recommend you to read that book. You're going to learn a lot about how to build this authority in the marketplace. I'm gonna give you a few ways to build that authority right now, but after watching this video, make sure that you get that book and you read it and you implement what the author is saying there. In order to build authority in the marketplace when it comes to e-commerce space, you need to answer the questions of your customers in advance. That's why the customer research comes here in place. You have to know what kind of questions your customers have, what are their concerns, what are their problems, and make sure that you answer their questions using their language, using their words, their specific words that they are using on a daily basis. Another way is to make sure that you were featured in some kind of popular magazines. That's why you might see on some websites, they have like those sections where they show some kind of brands they were featured in, in some kind of fashion magazines they were featured uh, before and that builds a lot of authority. That can be used in some of your ads using those logos on your creatives itself. Another way is to have medium to big influencers on your ads. That is going to build a lot of trust because usually your potential customers, they've been following those influencers for a while and they can resonate with them, so ultimately they can resonate with your products as well. The third way is to make sure that your branding is top-notch. Have a look at your pictures, are they high quality? Also, do you have videos that showcase your product in action? That is going to dictate either you are positioning your brand as an authority in the marketplace or not. The second psychological trigger is urgency, or also we can add here the FOMO effect, the fear of missing out. You have to understand that now people do not really take action unless there is some urgency, unless they feel that if they do not take action, then there are high chances that they will miss that product out. So you need to understand that when you're running your ads, you have to be cautious and you have to know strategically when to put this urgency and this FOMO effect in your ad copy or on your ads itself. You see, in our DNA, it's actually easy to take action and it's easy to not take action. And that's why this psychological trigger kind of pushes your potential customer to move forward. But you need to keep in mind one thing both. When it comes to frequency of having this urgency, you need to be strategically with this one point. You don't want to overdo it and have this FOMO effect in every single campaign that you're running. 
because your customers will get used to this and in their mind they will be like i've already seen that it's actually not real so you have to be genuine and you have to know how often you are doing this from my recommendation i would say that when it comes to events urgency works the best events like valentine's day christmas black friday here you definitely want to incorporate a little bit of urgency the third psychological trigger is novelty and this boils down to new and innovative things so you have to understand that in the marketing copywriting people are looking and they are more interested in the freshest in the most innovative products in the marketplace and in fact they want to get them before their family and their friends this is like a dopamine for us when we are getting the newest items in the marketplace to effectively use this trigger in your ads you need to know in advance when you're launching a new product this one works very very well with your existing customers when you're launching a new collection or a new product make sure that you have an email campaign and also a facebook advertising campaign where you're uh, advertising where you are targeting your existing customer and make sure that you use in your ad copy words like new and innovative next point is reciprocity so what is this psychological trigger this simply means that people don't want to owe that's why when you can add in your offer this reciprocity effect you are setting your business for success usually i noticed these ads from business subscription based that they are offering some kind of free samples of their products and then afterwards people buy their products on a monthly basis and that literally gives them that cash flow and a high customer lifetime value I would say this is by far the most powerful psychological trigger because in our DNA when someone helps us for free add some value to our life or to our business we feel naturally we feel actually you know sometimes unusual if we do not help them back next psychological trigger is social proof maybe you've already heard about this one because it's quite common and have you ever thought why is actually this working you see when you have genuine reviews on your website not those like you know those kind of reviews with no text with no images with nothing well those are not so powerful but it's not going to be included in our social proof psychological trigger or also having ads with enough likes shares and comments all those have a huge impact in your results this is something that you have to pay attention more and more and more over time because your customers are getting smarter and smarter and smarter they know that they have a lot of choices when it comes to taking a product online to go and buy something that they are looking for they're making a lot of research before that they also ask for advice from their family and their friends so they want to make sure that their purchase decision is going to be the best having enough reviews on your product page and social proof on your ads that will build trust and will make your business look legit and professional the next psychological trigger is using color psychology that i can place it in the branding itself because it's super important to understand that when you are building your brand your business you want to associate your products your branding overall with some kind of emotions and in fact colors actually convey more emotions than the words that you're using for example red is associated with energy and passion orange is fun with positivity blue with confidence and trust and black is equal with luxury so based on your price points and your story make sure that you use the right colors both on your website and on your ads you see when you're running ads facebook takes as a guide multiple and multiple aspects from your ad including your color when you for example have the black color in your ads well they know that this color is associated with more luxury so they will make sure that they put your ads in front of the customers who are more likely to buy high ticket products i know it sounds mind-blowing but that is simply how it works but you have to understand that if you are selling low ticket products and you include the black color that is not going to make much effect and that is not going to target like people who are more likely to buy expensive products that is just one aspect that they take as a guide they also look at your product price points at your copy and at your creatives 
Next and the last trigger is anticipation. This works quite well for product and restock launches. This builds a lot of excitement in front of your customers. Usually it looks more like a countdown. And on top of it, if you can add also some scarcity when you are telling people, hey, this new product that we're launching is gonna be in limited stock. And you do need to make sure that you have a limited number of that specific product. You don't want to make any of these psychological triggers in a fake way because that is simply going to negatively impact your branding, your business in the long run. So this way the seven most effective sales psychological triggers. Now, of course, there are more than seven. And if you enjoyed this type of content, and if you want to know more about this to be more influential and create more compelling ads using these psychological triggers, let me know in the comments below. If I see that you are interested, I will definitely create more content uh, dedicated to this topic. For now, I'm gonna wrap it up here and I will speak to you soon.